Greetings, my dear siblings. I hope you're all having an excellent, excellent experience out in your part of the simulation. The old storyline in the simulation's gotten weird lately, don't you think? Nice to see you. Hey, Allison. I hope you're doing very well today. Welcome to the Hippie Report. This is where I try and do a little show by hanging out in a public place and getting high and say hi a lot to people. It could just be called the high show because I get high and I say hi and there's really nobody else allowed on the show because it's a quarantine show. So I guess we could have called it that. Episode 32, I think. <sighs> hey, Hand, I hope you're doing very well. They, uh, they our, our fucking um, local government just faked us out with our quarantine stuff. They're like, you're definitely going to get out at a certain date, and they just moved it on us. And it's a fine, it's fine. But uh, I hope that doesn't happen to you, Hand, or I, I hope it does, whatever's effective. Hold on one sec. Oh yeah, that's right. That's right. Oh yeah, that is the sound of my cat puking. Oh yeah, that's on the show. Yep, that's the sound of my cat retching. She may have a little more to give us. It's kind of been one of these days. I want to kind of like see if I can see if I can kind of reason with her about pointing toward the kitchen. <laughs> I'm a good cat dad, you know, comfort the cat, but also like kind of point her toward the kitchen, which is easier to clean. Yeah, that just happened on this show. I'm so glad we're all here for that. A little too much uh, truth in the art today, folks. I don't know. I don't mean to make it that way. Let's have a new rule. Every time the cat pukes on the show, I shoot a little shot of whiskey. Doesn't that seem like a good idea? God damn it, as I say it, it seems brilliant. Whiskey's not a fucking sponsor of this show. I just want to say. But a little, a little, a little bit, though. <clears throat> not a sponsor, but also um, helpful. And a nice tradition, because I'm sure, like, you know, this is episode 32, and we've never had the cat puke before. And it just seems like a special occasion. And I feel like if it ever happens again, we should have some type of a... Some type of a practice in place for it. So cheers. Hey, Terry, how are you? Hey, Claire, how are you? Cheers. To cat vomit. You know, it's just as well that this shit's not a sponsor, because it's not very good. The best thing about it is uh, the, the fucking uh, chemical poison aspect of it. Um, <laughs> I'm really happy to be doing the show for you today. It's a little later than usual. Um, I've been busy all day. Doing some side hustle work. Trying to make some, what do you call it? Money. Trying to make some money. Uh... You know, not every day. You can't just, like, come in and uh, expect people to, to just give you money. That's not right. So I, I go work for it all the time. Uh, I'm so, Dr. Side Hustle over here. And um, luckily, uh, I also do this show, which was originally just for fun, but now I'm just, like, in the groove of doing it every day. And, um, oh, if you've been enjoying my show, you're welcome to hit me up on the Venmo. That's why I keep it up here. Is it hard to read today? Is that a little weird? Is it a little weird to read? Can you read it? It's my name. It says my name with like a little dash in the middle. And even then there's like a dash and it says Epler. That's my name. And uh, if you want to give me your money, I think that's the best way to do it. That's just that little way there. <laughs> and I appreciate all the people that uh, have donated or, um, even sponsored episodes. We're thinking about um, 
in the comment section during previous episodes, we've talked about uh, sponsoring different aspects of the show at different price points because it shows up in my my uh, notifications as soon as I get a Venmo donation, usually. So we were thinking about saying every time I, you know, have the bong, maybe you, you can, you could be the bong sponsor and I say your name like 20 times or something, <laughs> you know. <laughs> Or you can sponsor the whole episode, we've been saying, for like $100. That's the episode sponsorship. And it just starts whenever you whenever you pay me. So you can pay me right at the end and, and get a long-form end uh, commercial. Uh, we, we haven't really been doing product sponsorships. But uh, we're going to be... These are going to be airing on local TV now. Um, it turns out. Which is so strange and wonderful. Uh, so this is this is gonna be on TV, and now I want to do like TV art. <laughs> and the first thing I want to talk about is uh, advertising. So I'm gonna be doing some art related to that here. Also, um, I'm just curious what this show can be if they're if they're gonna run it. It's gonna be late night programming. So I'm just starting to think of like little ideas about. What kind of uh, curveball kind of ideas we can put out here and see if see if people like it? It's fun to make stuff. Anyway, um, golly, I don't I don't want my bowl to be done yet. What's up, John? I hope you're doing very well. Just hanging out, doing a little hippie report. What's up, Daniel? I hope you're doing very well as well. I am going to load another bowl, which we usually don't do on this show. I didn't load the bong at all today, because I'm, I'm just kind of like, today's smoke break is a little quick for me. Uh, and that's what this show is. This show is my smoke break during the day. I have turned, I have turned my break into a show. I think it's sort of fun. Ooh, I'm going to get so stoned. This weed is so excellent. God damn it, I love to smoke good weed. If you don't live in the parts of America where you can smoke weed, I'm sorry. Sorry for you. And uh, there are lots of places all over the world that are in the same position. And I'm sorry for them as well. You know? If it were up to me, you'd be able to do that and psilocybin. I think both those things. Anybody working on any art out there? What's up, Kirk? What's up, Taylor? I hope you're doing very well. It's a beautiful day. If you happen to have a beautiful view of the city, uh, I hope you take a great long gander. Fizzy Water, not a sponsor of this show, not a sponsor. Just saying, Fizzy Water, not a sponsor of this show. For sure not a sponsor. It's nice to see everybody. What's up, Wayne? Wayne, how are you, sir? Good green down here in New Mexico. Ooh, is there now? I love New Mexico. I've actually spent... Um, a lot of time in New Mexico over the years. Of the places that I toured, uh, back when I used to like go on tour, which I haven't in years, uh, back when I used to go on tour regular, uh, regularly, New Mexico was like a, a go-to state for me, and I've been all over the fucking place. Um, and I met all kinds of interesting people. Boy, you wouldn't believe. Um, boy, are there any stories that I can really tell and not get in trouble? Not really, man. I, I hung out with a lot of surprisingly dangerous people when I was on tour. Uh, this would have been 2000, 2006, 2007, uh, through 2000, you know, maybe like 10 or 11. And I would hit New Mexico at least once a year. Um, pretty extensively. God, I love Taos. I heard that, I hear that it's changed a lot. 
which is fine. But I hear that, that I used to love Taos. I used to hang out in Taos a lot. And I would just have days off uh, in my touring schedule. I would, I would hang out in Taos and just kind of wait it out, drinking wine from um, some saint, saint something winery. Oh, I can't remember. But they had really great kind of like um, easy kind of Cabernet stuff, but like really nice dark uh, red stuff. Mm. I'd say New Mexico is probably most known for its kind of sweeter wines. Uh, maybe that's just me. What do you think, Wayne? What up, Jason? What up, Bree? Good to see you both. I think uh, New Mexico is mostly about kind of sweet wine, right? Oh, you're in Santa Fe? That's awesome. One, my real, my complaint about New Mexico, and it's a complaint. Sorry. Sorry. The complaint is, um, it's just like green chili everything. I love green chili, you, you know, but like green chili everything, you know. I get it. I get it. They're beautiful. They taste wonderful. Uh, there's just no place in the world that has them, except New Mexico or whatever. But like, god damn it, green chili beer fucking sucks. Sorry about you. It fucking sucks. Uh, and and like, I don't know. After like two weeks in New Mexico, I'm starting to be like, fuck some green chili. You know, I'm starting. I'm starting to feel like aggressed upon. Green chili everywhere. I love guacamole and I love all the food down there. I really love the people. I always got along with everybody. I always felt very accepted. And that's sort of weird, I think, because, um, oh, I'm not gonna tell a story, but I will kind of skirt the issue here. Um, when you're hanging out with people in that area, a lot of times they don't like white folk. Uh, and boy, do they have some good reasons about that. But like, being the musician in the room playing music or whatever, they really, I really got kind of let in with people that would uh, be in these bars, like in places like Socorro or uh, Las Cruces or, uh, I don't know, some of these like a little further out spots, you know? True, aha, Wayne, who lives in Santa Fe. <laughs> Just said, true, green chili beer sucks. And that is fucking true. Sorry about it. Huh? Hey, look, nobody wants to love it more than me. I love to love things. And yet, I, I can't meet you there because it fucking sucks. Overkill on the green chili. Yeah, I'm afraid so. I'm afraid so, Wayne. I'm afraid we agree yet again. And I love green chili. And I like, oh man, there's some great food in New Mexico. I had duck fajitas once. That was like, oh God, that was like, one of the great meals of the world was duck fajitas. And it was um, in Taos, New Mexico. And it was um, 2008 or something like that. And uh, it was at the Apple Tree, which is on Bent Street down by uh, Paso del Pueblo. And, um, fuck, that was the best, man. It's just exactly what you think it is, too. It's kind of like a saucy version of duck fajitas. And it was just like, just a little spicy, fuck. God, I love food. And New Mexico kills, man, kills with food. Ooh, AJ, for reals. Duck fajitas is good. Green chili beer fucking blows. That's all true. And um, furthermore, oh my God, that I, I used to just eat all the tastiest stuff in New Mexico. It was like when I would allow myself nice food. Because um, I, I, I think they have a more interesting food culture than Colorado does, or at least my area of Colorado in Boulder County. I'm just not, you know... Uh, there aren't very many spots that just speak to me like that place did, man. New Mexico breweries are good, man. Eskis Brewery in, uh, in Taos made that green chili beer that I hated. 
They have lots of other beers that I did like. Um, even, um, let's see, I played in Roswell a few times, at a winery once, and at a brewery another time, I think. And uh, I loved it, man. I just, I could totally live in New Mexico if everything fucks up for me in Colorado. And, and how would I know the difference between that and this? But um, I, I'm definitely all about New Mexico. I could definitely fuck around in New Mexico. You know? Yeah, right. Exactly, AJ. That's exactly right, dude. Um, there's lots of good spots to live in New Mexico, too. Um, with, and they've got a great food culture. I, I might be able to fuck around in Albuquerque, you know? I want to be close to some place that has, like, a, a, a monster good airport. That's what I care about. So, that's becoming more important to my work. I'm, I'm needing to access other places, and so I need a place I can fly out of. Hopefully, one day, if we ever fly in airplanes again, we will. It'll be a couple weeks, but we will. Don't worry, friends. We'll all fly again. You know, save up for some like bomb ass trip. You know, things will get back to normal. Except I'll probably keep doing this show. So people seem to dig it. Phoenix has a great airport. Arizona? That's a little bit like living in Texas, right? You know, I'd rather live close to Dallas at that point. <laughs> Phoenix. Yeah, Phoenix, man. I'm not sure. I'm not sure about Phoenix. Hot as fuck. It's like, I don't know, New Mexico plus Texas, you know, kind of a thing. I'm not interested in that shit. I don't think so, man. Sorry, sorry, people from Arizona. Uh, from afar, you don't seem like a place I want to hang out. But uh, I would fuck around. If, if I was going to move down into the south again, I don't think I'd choose Arizona. You know, I might fuck around in Nevada. That seems like an interesting kind of place. I don't know. I don't think you're going to catch me in California. Not a sponsor. Fizzy Water, not a sponsor. Don't just go buy it. Just because you saw it on the fucking, you know, glow square or whatever. Yeah, so is New Mexico, right? It's really hot. Oh, and Nevada? Yeah, man. Seems cool. Nevada seems cool. They got Vegas, right? They got, like, all kinds of interesting uh, laws and stuff. They just got, they got weed now. I don't know. You could do business in California and not have to live there. I don't know. It's not a terrible place. But I, I think, like, I'm more likely to move north if I were to move. And I love Colorado. I think, like, Colorado has a chance of legalizing, or at least decriminalizing psilocybin in the next so-so years. And uh, that would be a really interesting time in uh, human history for America to make that kind of a move, some, some place in America to make that deep a move. So, uh, interested. We already did that in Denver. Apparently, psilocybin is decriminalized down there. I'll be really interested if they decide to do that elsewhere. You know? That'd be a really interesting thing to see, and I wouldn't want to necessarily move away because it'd be such an interesting thing to watch. Do you hear what I'm saying? That's sort of interesting. What up, Rebecca? I hope you're doing very well. It's a beautiful day. Yeah, we're trying to be careful about sponsorships and shit. There's all this, like, native advertising going on in the world. I, I just watched TV the other day. I haven't watched TV in a while. And, uh, everybody looks so strange, you know? And everybody talks so, like, Weirdly, and I watched uh, the game show channel today. I happened to be around a TV today, and so I watched the game show channel. 
and it has like normal people and then like the host and whatever. I don't miss hanging out in culture. It's weird. You guys are making it weirder. I'm not sure what I think about that. Um, it's, uh, oh, not a sponsor. Not a sponsor, just a watch, not a sponsor. I realize that isn't prominently in the shop. Um, yeah, it's getting weird out there, man. And I also watched Little House on the Prairie today. Also happened to be on. Did you, do you remember that show? Dude, I watched an episode of that today. Let me tell you about this. Let me try and recount for you a story from Little House on the Prairie now. Because I watched several episodes today. And what happened in this episode was uh, there was the Laura and there's Mary, right? And um, there's like this mean girl at school, okay? And the mean girl was being mean and um, it was it was awful. What's up, JC? Um, I'm I'm recounting a fucking thing I saw on TV while I was so high. The 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 bratty girl. Her name was Nellie. And the Ingalls girls hated Nellie because she's like a stone cold. Uh, terror. She's the worst little girl ever. The worst little girl ever. Versus the sweetest little girls ever. You know? And I'd never really watched this show. My sister used to watch it all the time. Really loved Little House on the Prairie. I never really watched it at all, of course. Um, but it turns out uh, the, that um, Nellie got Laura to be her slave for the day or whatever because she caught her breaking the rules or whatever. So it's like a blackmail story, right? And so Laura Ingalls is like, uh, finally subverts the bad guy, Nellie, the mean girl. And like her dad is like mad and shit. She gets busted in front of her dad and shit. And it's like the dad, uh, Paul, what's his name? Uh, Ingalls, Pa Ingalls, Wilder, no, not Wilder, that's not right, Pa, his name was Charles, yeah, so Charles is there with the kid, and the, the, and, and, like, some, something happens where they're like, and now they tell the truth, and the little bratty girl's like, oh, no, and she's busted and shit, right? And you think it's going to be like, oh, yeah, go to your room and shit. And she's like, yeah, yeah, I will have to go to my room. And dad's like, you go to your room or whatever. She starts marching up the stairs. And then, like, everybody's like, yeah, that's right. And then dad, like, is pissed and he follows her up and grabs, like, a belt off the wall and continues walking up the thing. He's going to beat the fuck out of this little girl with his belt is the thing that happened in this scene. So he goes up the stairs like... No question about what's about to happen. Dad is now walking up the stairs to beat the shit out of the bratty girl with his belt. Very prominently takes it off the wall and walks up the fucking stairs. And then, like, the Ingalls motherfuckers, uh, uh, Pa and, and Laura, are like, uh, they, like, look at each other like, hmm, hmm, got her. Yeah, that's right. Justice is served. <laughs> and, like... It's the most horrifying, it was horrifying. And so like, they like walk out the front door and like, Laura is just like, yeah, we got her. And then she's like basically high-fiving her friends and shit. I don't think it was like that. They probably didn't high-five back then. They did something else. Like, I don't, they curtsied to each other or something. I don't remember. But they're like hugging and laughing and we did it, we did it. And like what you don't see is like what's happening in like the house. There's like this awful child abuse story happening in that scene. It was like 
crazy. It was fucking crazy to watch. And I was fucking glued to the screen for every episode after that. I think I probably watched like five episodes of, of Little House on the Prairie today. Because I was just sitting there getting stoned at this place and watching the, the TV waiting around. And like, finally, like, you know, I, I kind of tune in to what's happening, watch that, that show. And it's a little 20 minute episode or whatever. Fuck, man. It fucked me up. Like, I almost cried. Like, it was horrifying. A pause, like, hmm, hmm. And Laura's like, hmm, hmm. And they, like, walk outside and shit. It was the darkest thing I've ever seen. It was. Wayne, it was so fucked up, dude. I can't, I, like, I can't watch TV without, like, I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I don't know how to, maybe I'm just not good at watching TV or like, you know, I'm too active of a brain or something like that. But like, that freaked me the fuck out, man. That little house on the prairie shit freaked me out. And like, I watched a bunch of other episodes and like, none of them were like as fucked up as that. There was like some other shit that I really liked. Um, there was an episode called, um, uh, oh, my cat's starting to meow because it's getting close to feeding time. And so, like, we may start to hear, like, her sing the song of her people or whatever. But uh, I saw a bunch of good episodes of Little House on the Prairie today. But that first one was strange as fuck. And it was, like, with a recurring character. And so I saw that little girl again in other episodes. Her name was Nellie. And she was mean, girl. But after that, when she was mean in the episodes, I was just like... Oh my god, what a traumatized little girl. It was, it took all the like, I don't know, I don't know how that seemed to them back then, but now it just seems like awful. So I hope, I'm not trying to like ruin Little House on the Prairie for you. Bless you if you like Little House on the Prairie or whatever. Anyway. Bless you, I just hope you have a wonderful day. Um, sun's starting to go down and stuff here in Colorado. I hope you have a nice evening. Have a look outside. It's beautiful. Um, boy, you don't even have to bring your own beauty today. It's a gorgeous day out there. Go get some back. Cheers. <laughs>